Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, magicbrad.tv, and I'm here. I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I've got a guest, and her name is Nancy, and I don't know your last name, but that doesn't matter. Where are you from? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I'm currently in Virginia. Virginia. So, yeah, yeah. I've been through there, I think, but I haven't really frequented Virginia very much, but I did remember seeing it on the Monopoly board. It is there. <laughs> <laughs> So, Nancy, I don't do these real long. I keep them kind of tight because uh, people have their busy lives and stuff, but we just want to find out who you are and what you're doing with your business and your online endeavors and then find out how to get a hold of you in case somebody wants to play the game that you're playing and what I'm playing. So, uh, so are you married and got kids and stuff there in Virginia? Uh, widow, but I do have kids and grandkids and, uh, yeah, it's a full house. So Yeah, you said that your grandchild uh, helped you set up your computer a little bit. One of, one of the boys, See, yeah. He, they know that he, stuff. He has done some YouTube, and so I call him when I get stuck. There you go. you got a good mentor. I do. So speaking that's of mentors, good. that's kind of what you are, I understand, that you're a teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, recently retired. I taught English and uh, ELD, English Language Development, for a long time, and then Spanish also. And then the time that I've been here in Virginia teaching Spanish as a foreign language. See, that's so. uh, you're a good teacher because you said ELD, and I go, what the heck's that? And then you told me what it was, so I know that it's ELD, English Learning Development. Right. Right, see? Good, you taught me something already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my wife is a Spanish teacher. She or was. She used to teach at the University of Minnesota Spanish, so it's interesting. It's, it's a very interesting language. Lots of fun. Is that what you're doing now is teaching Spanish online or are you teaching something else? No, currently I have a site that is helping teachers who want to leave teaching early or have retired like I have um, set up their own uh, blog or website. Oh, that's cool. Oh. They could even do it as a sideline thing unless the academia wouldn't let them do something like that or something. But. Yes, and I, I think most people have a website now, so... Yeah, um, it's it's possible to set one up and uh, and have lots of fun and reach lots of people that way. Well, I think that's a great thing that you're doing because uh, there's a there's a downtime for teaching where a person you know they don't know what to do until the class gets back in session, so they can be working on their blog and doing what they love, continue teaching, they, right? They can. I think teachers have a real advantage because they have um, that two week. Usually, some districts give you three weeks for Christmas break and. Uh, at least in the California area that I'm familiar with, you have a week off for President's Week and you have a week off for Thanksgiving and, um, of course, summers. So mm -hmm. lots of time in there that you could really get a blog going and have lots of fun with it in the process. And I just think that um, the whole online marketing thing is just fascinating to me because there's so many opportunities out there. Like, I'm just thinking, I don't know how yours is set up, but you could be selling, um, like, like language tapes from like uh, what are those those things those uh, learning how to speak Spanish different oh, languages like Berlitz and, yeah uh, and let's see there are, there are a couple of others there the names escape me yeah they one, escape but... me too for some reason yeah. but but those kind of products <laughs> oh, that can be on the there's one yeah Just yeah pop back in those things and uh, there's probably books that you can share and. You could come up with your own products that you can, you can sell. So there's so own, many different yeah. things that a person can promote. So can you share a little bit more about how your, your specific business is set up? I remember um, years ago, there was a math teacher that mm -hmm. uh, wanted to do stuff online. So he just loved teaching math. And all he did was created a YouTube channel that had a uh, like a blackboard on it. And he would just, with a, with not physically, but with the computer, he just write equations out and talk in the background. So he never showed his voice, but people paid, you know, like five bucks a month or something to access his lessons. Then you get enough people on there, you get 100,000 people paying you five bucks a month, you got a business. <laughs> you know, I think that's how Khan, K-A-H-N, I think, or K-H-A-N Academy got started. So there are lots of good stories that way, people that, and especially teachers, that just want to share their knowledge, their love for their particular subject. Yeah, wasn't there one called yeah. Linda? Could I, I think, think so? I think. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, so, people want to learn things. So, if you got something to teach, they're ready to they listen. Do. 
At this point, what I'm focusing on are topics that are of interest to teachers. Uh, I've taken a look at Social Security because depending on how a school district or a school division is set up, Mm -hmm. you may or may not collect Social Security, have it taken from your salary and be able to collect. Um, The way you move around to retirements are structured so that I have, uh, we've done a little bit of research on retirements. And then uh, cell phone addiction of teenagers and the issues in the classrooms. So we try to focus on all of the hot topics. This could even be good for somebody that's just getting into the teaching industry so they know what, where the road's going to be going. Yes, right? it, it, this is certainly a good picture for that. And Very then cool. I also take a look at a half a dozen different options that I've researched, spent a lot of time. A couple of them I've actually signed up for the courses and gone through myself that would be real good options for teachers who wanted to set up some sort of a side gig because we know that a huge chunk of teachers now are doing second jobs and some even a third job in in addition to their teaching. Yeah, position. and why not be able to do so. something, you know, on your own time when you're out on the boat or something? or That's true. When you're on vacation over in Paris or whatever, you can still do all your way. stuff. Yeah. yeah. You're all yeah. mobile. You can do it all from your phone. That's how I run my business, that's, basically. That, that's true. As long as you've got internet, you're in yeah, business. Exactly. Your laptop and your internet, you can be anywhere in the world. So, so I don't like to do these things too long because there is that time freedom thing that people, sure. you only got 24 hours in a day. So could you share how someone would get a hold of you and if they wanted to learn more about how you're doing this and making this happen okay. for them? How do, they, how do they find you? Well, the website is escapingtheclassroom.com. And if they wanted to send me an email, just nancy at escapingtheclassroom.com. Well, that's simple enough. Escaping, I-N-G, theclassroom.com. Yes, yes. It's not for students. It's for teachers escaping the classroom. (laughs) Your students stay in school. I sometimes wonder (laughs) if students check it out just because of the word, so... Well, they might, and now you can show that you can, because you kind of can escape the classroom these days. You can do your homework from anywhere you want these days. That's it's just a true. so wonderful. I appreciate you taking the time. If you want to stay on, we'll have some more conversation. Other than that, I'm going to beam this up to the Thank universe you. and let it go, and then spread the love. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Peace. You're welcome.